Hello, everybody. It is day 23. It is Christmas Eve Eve, and we are on our last two beers in the 2023 beer advent calendar here on Milwaukee Beer Review. As always, I'm Josh. I'm Ross. Tyler is joining us from Kenosha and Nosy Neighbor Brewing Company, the three sellers advent calendar with us again tonight. And Mr. Lau is joining us from Eau Claire for day 23's beer in the volume one advent calendar. We're going to jump right into three sellers. I will grab my other bag of joy. See what we got. We have got a can of ooh, Untitled Arts. Okay, this is the Chocolate Malt Amore Pastry Stout. Very, very okay. pink. Very, very pink. Um, okay, this comes in at 10%. <clears throat> so we're inching up into Milwaukee Beer Review ABV territory. Um, it's a stout with midnight wheat, caramel, and chocolate malts and natural flavors. Um, so this looks like a... Okay, yeah, so this is a... <clears throat> collab with the chocolate shop ice cream company out of Madison as well. Um, kind of cool. makes sense. Chocolate malt. <clears throat> um, a few things we've done before. We've reviewed a couple things, I think, with them using chocolate shop stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is a 12 ounce can. It is a stout. It's probably going to pour very, very dark, very, very black. And it is... Definitely some nice mocha colored head, about finger and a half actually in this pint glass. Is that the official measuring measure measurement of fingers? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. It is. Um, looks like a nice stout. Nothing crazy. Um, nice pillowy head up top, sticking around for me quite a bit. Let's get a little nose on this thing. Curious to see. Oh, just chocolate. That is just fudgy chocolate. That's all you're getting on there. Wow, that is decadent. Just dump some ice cream in the beer. It smells like it. I mean, <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of like maltiness too, like like chocolate malt character too. Yeah. Which is yeah, I'm getting like the malted uh, milk ball type smell to it too like like whoppers yeah exactly uh, don't don't ruin it all right it's got bring whoppers in this. i was gonna say yeah no beef i'm with ross on that What's wrong with whoppers no one, no one likes whoppers don't hate on burger king don't hate on burger king like that it smells like a burger you, you, you get them in halloween like oh yeah i guess i have to eat these and you just eat them because you have to eat them but they're like, the only good use balls Chocolate. Not good. They're not good. The only okay. good news for them is to put them in the waffle cone so that your ice cream doesn't drip through. There you go. Okay. All right. Well, this smells amazing. Um, let's try it out. Cheers. Cheers. So it's a sweeter chocolate. I don't, I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting more of a decadent kind of darker chocolate. And it's more sweet than I was expecting. Um, it's got a good chocolate flavor. It's got a nice little roastiness to it as well. Um, <clears throat> I think the nose tricks you a bit to what you're going to get, though. It's not. I think the palate in the nose, to me, is off. It doesn't taste the same way it is on the nose. Okay. For me, the... Uh the chocolate almost has more of like a bitter kind of almost a dark like cocoa vibe to it it's not as fudgy sweet in my i mean there's sweetness but the cocoa flavor itself it kind of finishes a little bit more of like a dark cocoa vibe almost has on the palate even a little powdery kind of grittiness to it in my opinion um it's not overly thick and and fudgy it's got a little more thin carbonation vibe to it hmm. uh, it i mean 
it's not thin like it's a light beer. Don't get me wrong, but like from like Ross said, from the nose, you would expect a certain level, and I would say it's maybe just below that. And there's like a, a bitter finish to it. I think it's a combination between the cocoa and maybe even just the hop level, like the bitterness of the base beer. Um, it doesn't leave a lot of residual sweetness to it. It kind of has a bitter finish on it, I guess. Yeah, I think <laughs> both of your comments are 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 pretty dead on. Um it definitely has a lighter body than you expect. Like a beer like this, you're expecting a certain level of viscosity and it's not there. It's a little bit thinner. Um, it is pretty heavily carbonated. The mouthfeel on this is definitely lighter. Again, like I said, lighter body, but then like up front, I get, it does kind of have like almost like a Nestle quick, like consistency to it. Almost like somebody put like Nestle quick, like, milk chocolate um in there and then it does get very very bitter up front like it, it's it's a lot more bitter than you're expecting and it's almost it's not really hot bitterness it's really like chocolate bitterness um which is interesting i actually like it i think it's good that the malted milk chocolate kind of character hits i think mid palate but it's very bitter and grainy up front and then it smooths out a little bit it gets you get that malted milk kind of flavor as it sits here it finishes like like nest quick chocolate to me like nest nest quick chocolate um hmm. it's interesting um i think we tried a similar beer to this their na version last january when we did our na episode and i remember it tasting similar to this although even thinner um, so I guess that chocolate note's not as surprising to me, but I think I'm less impressed with it just because it doesn't have that pop that I was expecting from the nose. That's spot on. I, I really do. I think that I think the nose fools you a bit what you're about to get. Hmm. So doesn't mean it's bad. Right. It's just not great. Um, yeah. okay. I will start. I'm gonna go. I'm going to go three and a quarter on this. And the reason I'm going to say that is just, again, everything I just said, plus there's just better stouts, I think, in this vein that I'd rather drink than this. This is just, it's kind of all over the place. And for that reason, I'm going to go three and a quarter on this one. Uh, Ross, how about you? I'm actually in the same boat as you, three and a quarter. I mean, I'll be I'm, I was... I was really excited when I saw the beer. I was excited on the nose and I got on the palate. It just it, it it misses the mark. And to your point, there's better beers in this vein out there, especially by Untitled. We've had some really good pastry shouts from Untitled Art. Um, this to me isn't their best effort. It's still good, but they make better pastry shouts than this. So I was I had my expectations really high, so I might be playing a role in my score, but I think three and a quarter is a good spot for it. Tyler, this is going to make for a really boring video. But as we, as you talked about untapped, the number in my head immediately went to three and a quarter. And then you guys both repeated that. So um, I'm going to go three and a quarter. I think my feedback would be that as, as you have a style like this, things you have to consider are the flavor notes, the residual sweetness, and then also the bitterness for me, the the chocolate flavor already provides a lot of bitterness. And I feel like the hop level and the IBUs are also really high. So it just leaves this like really bitter punch at the finish, which I don't love at all. Um, I actually thought about a three, to be honest. Um, if you pull back a lot on that IBU and let some of that residual sweetness shine, I think it would be a lot more balanced. Um, so there's a, a handful of variables that you could put in this to make it I think a lot more enjoyable in my, for me, at least for my taste. Um, but I'm going to give it a three, two, five. All right. All right. You want to know what the untapped yes. score is? Yeah. Just over a four. So. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I mean, it, maybe other people enjoy that. It's, chocolate it's, bitterness. it's a no, it's a no doubter beer on the nose and the palate. I mean, it's melted milk flavor right i mean and that's yeah. probably what most people are buying this or just like oh molten milk something yeah 
Cool. I kind of like the idea of the bitter chocolate in there, but if it overpowers the rest of it, I can see where that would. I I, I I like the bitter chocolate too, but if you combine the bitter chocolate with the bitter hops, that's where the weird flavor kind of yeah. comes. I think at the end. All right. All right. Well, well, there. All right. Um, Mr. Lau, what you got? Let's see what uh, day twenty three is brought me. Oh boy, Lake Louis Brewing. Oh, okay. Know them? Their Warp Speed Scotch Ale. Oh, oh that's right your alley. This is going to be good. I have a feeling I'm going to really enjoy this one. Six point nine percent alcohol by volume. Full-bodied, subtle sweetness with a smooth finish. I am I wrong that Lake Louis Brewing rebranded this year? They used to be called something else, and then they switched to Lake Louis Brewing. Or are they always Lake Louis Brewing? I think they've, they always, been, they've been late, Louis, for a while. Okay. I'm an idiot. I don't know if I've had anything from them before. Where are they located? They're in uh, Verona. Okay. So I, I can't think of anything I've had from them, but apparently this was smuggled out of the backwoods. So says the can. So. Perfect. We'll, we'll open it up and uh, and see how it goes. I don't know if this is a beer mug, but it looked fun. And I was trying to grab something for 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 tonight. Um, I assume it'll be kind of more of like an amberish color, right? I feel like that's what Scotch ales usually look like. Let's find out. Mm-hmm. Nice, yeah, nice amber color. I'm gonna pour. I'm gonna get it, get it to climb up that glass. Nice Ross pour. Nice Ross pour. Get the get the Packer logos covered up there to shine. 40, 40 um, minutes yeah. from now when you can actually drink that. Oh yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be all right. Doc. Uh, we gotta fill we gotta get these episodes up to that nineteen minutes somehow. Um, this one will be. There's there's a decent amount of bubbles in there on the bottom. Can, They're all kind can of you sitting me- there. Can you measure the head and fingers, please? <laughs> Looks like we got we got we got a nice three three finger <laughs> right. three finger head on this on this pour, mm-hmm. so that's that's ideal. But yeah, nice nice uh, kind of amberish kind of color there with a decent amount of bubbles. Let's see what it, the nose is. I don't think I've had a Scotch ale that I've sat around and tried to see what it smells like. So I'm not getting I'm not getting a lot. Of kind of anything on the on the nose, really. I, should I be like, am I missing something here? I mean, Scotch Ale might not have there's, a ton. There's a little maltiness maybe there, and I know it's going to be a little bit more of a malty beer, but you can get a little malty sweetness on a Scotch Ale. Yeah, Scotch Scotch Ale is so, definitely more malt driven. So yeah, but there's that's why is you're probably not going to get a ton. Yeah, there's, the, little, there's not much, not much going caramel on there. Note, caramel note, maybe a little bit of that. <laughs> well, I'm expecting that when I take a sip of this thing, but I'm not really getting at anything coming through on the nose. So, well, we'll give it a try. Cheers, gentlemen. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Hey. Hmm. <clears throat> yep. That's. Yeah, that's I got I got a little caramel coming through, kind of similar to sort of what you guys were expecting. I thought it almost feels a little bit like the it almost feels a little thinned out for what I was kind of anticipating. Not that like Scotch ales are thick, but it's kind of like the flavor. I feel like usually they maybe have a little bit of a different mouthfeel because there's kind of a lot of flavor coming through from the malts, and this one's more subtle on the flavor side of things, and it's fairly like fairly well carbonated. I can still see all the bubbles sitting on the bottom of the glass here. Maybe they actually added water from Lake Louis after it fermented out. Maybe. Maybe they fermented it out and it came in at like 10% and they had to cut it down. Could be. Um, but the, the flavors are, are pretty subtle. It, it is like for a 
6.9% alcohol beer, it is like very easy to drink. Like you do not get that level of, of ABV on, on this, on this at all. But yeah, you get the kind of sweeter caramel, like malt notes coming through. There's like almost no bitterness on it. Um, but yeah, I guess overall I was expecting maybe a little bit more of a bigger flavor coming through from it, right? Like those flavors to stand out a little bit more. Um, I feel like it's maybe a little bit muted compared to some of the other Scotch ales I've had. It's still a good, it's still, I'm still enjoying it. And it's definitely something you could easily, easily drink and not really realize that you were getting a, you know, 7% beer. That's good. Okay. So, so yeah. you are 23 beers in. Where does this thing stand? I am. Not... <laughs> um, I would say for untapped, I'm probably going, I don't know, three and a half. Yeah. Like it's, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's well done. It's just, I guess I was hoping for maybe a little bit more of a, more of a flavorful kind of palette on that when I think of kind of some of the scotch ales I've had before. Makes sense. Okay. Well, um, two more Wisconsin breweries on the channel. Got Untitled Art and Lake Louie. Mm -hmm. um, we are almost done, folks. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. It is going to be our last episode. Holy crap. This is the third year in a row we've done this. That is 72 episodes. <laughs> of just advent calendar beers on the channel once we get through tomorrow. So once you get to like put is... them up on like the video somewhere and be like other people click on these other videos and watch more of our stuff. Yeah. I, I should probably be better at doing that to be honest. Uh, tell us in the comments if you would click on them, if I put them in here, at the end of the episode, um, let us know. Um, thanks for watching. Happy holidays, everybody. One more to go. We'll join all of you on Christmas Eve for a little bit of fun. Uh, very excited to see how this whole thing ends, and um, we'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.